Now, I thought this was a done deal. Maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, so Ackman is a has reportedly sent a letter to United Technology CEO Greg Hayes over the weekend as reports were coming out about this possible combination, saying he is not a fan of this deal. He says he doesn't understand the strategic logic. He thinks Raytheon is of inferior quality to United Technologies aerospace businesses, and he does not understand why it's doing an all-stock deal at a time when its shares are arguably trading at a discount because they have not yet gotten that valuation pop that you would have hoped for from that breakup that they're doing. Now, we've seen that happen with a lot of industrial companies that have announced splits. Their shares are sort of stuck in this purgatory while we wait, uh, you know, in this case, uh, over a year for the split to actually happen. But as a practical matter, can he really stop this? He has less than 1% of the stock, so I don't know exactly what he can do. And he said in this letter that he, you know, is willing to come out publicly and he thinks he'll have support from a majority of shareholders. I'm not so sure about that. If you remember, United Technology shares were actually up on news of the Raytheon deal, and then they took a leg down when President Trump came out and said he worries about what this might do for competition for those Pentagon contracts. And then the shares actually came down even further when Ackman came out against the deal. So I don't know if there's necessarily this swell of shareholder angst against the company. The other thing I would point out is I think he may be very isolated in his view of Raytheon as an inferior business. Analysts were actually more surprised about Raytheon's willingness to do the deal than United Technologies because they're perceived as sort of being the better, stronger company here. Well, it's a good point because uh, specifically Ackman warned about uh, the United Technolo Technologies existing aerospace business and that that would lower the quality by getting with Raytheon. But the whole point of Raytheon is missile and defense, right? So how does that square? Right. I mean, they're different businesses, and I guess you could make the argument that he worries about defense spending going forward, and does he see necessarily the support for Raytheon's ongoing revenue growth, but I think its technology is higher value. Um, and, you know, they're sort of generally perceived as being a great company. If you look at their return over the past five years, it's significantly higher than United Technologies. And so I'm just not really sure what you base that estimation of inferiority on. Sir Ackman's going to tell us if he's really digging <laughs> in his heels.